So you must be like, what the hell? How did this guy see this movie? It's supposed to come out December 17th, and today's only December 11th. Well, I'll tell you this, I saw an advanced screening of it. So, when you guys see this review, you will know if you want to see it by December 17th or not. I just got back from watching The Fighter, and I thought this movie was awesome. I think the performances in this movie were brilliant, and even some might say Oscar-worthy. This movie is about Dickie Eklund and his documentary, and the, what's going on is that Mickey Ward is his brother, but he's not getting any attention because it's not about him, and it's about his brother. So they are putting a lot of focus on Dickie Eklund and not that much on Mickey Ward. Now what happens is, is that Dickie Eklund is also Mickey Ward's trainer. He trains him and teaches him how to box. And what happens is, is he comes late, he does a lot of drugs, and he's just not a good trainer for Mickey Ward. So what happens is Mickey Ward just forgets about him and gets an actual trainer instead of his brother because his brother is such a scumbag. So what this movie is about is that the family is concentrating on Dickie because they're making an HBO special on him more than they are concentrating on Mickey Ward, the actual boxer. So they don't really care who they pick for him as long as he gets money and they can still have Dickie Eklund's HBO special. So Mickey Ward has a love interest in this movie and she just so happens to be a bartender. Now, family doesn't like her because one, she's a bartender and two, they don't like her because she's stealing him away from the family business and getting him into a real boxing business because she believes that the family doesn't care about him and that he actually needs to concentrate on his boxing and get away from his brother who's always in trouble. The directing in this movie was really good. It, when the boxing scenes happened, it actually felt like real boxing. It didn't feel like the movie. And people were actually cheering in the movie theater because the directing was so good and people were affected by the movie. So that's why this movie is really good. Now the acting in this movie was amazing. Mickey Ward as Mark Wahlberg was pretty good. I mean, I can't say that Mark Wahlberg was bad in this movie, but he was just being Mark Wahlberg, I guess. But the best guy in this movie was Christian Bale, of course. Day in, day out, probably the best actor known to Hollywood. Christian Bale was so good in this movie. He, was, he actually played an over-the-top character, and usually I hate over-the-top characters. And he was played a really goofy role, really funny role. You could never take him serious in this movie. He was just amazing. I, I, I can't even say in words. That's, it's like speechless, you know? It's just, that is how good Christian Bale is. He made this movie awesome. This movie would have been okay if Mark Wahlberg was just in it. But Christian Bale, as his bigger brother, was just awesome. This movie was really good also because Mickey Ward's family, the people that played his family were hilarious. They actually felt like a family. It wasn't like an active family. It felt like a, a real family. Like he believed that was his mom and his dad and his bunch of sisters that he had. And Christian Bale actually felt like his brother in this movie. And Amy Adams as the bartender, she was really good in this movie. And she had some really good scenes. So everybody's acting was good in this movie, just like Inception. This doesn't happen that much. So that's why I love this movie. I believe this movie is run by talent. It is run by great acting. That's what made this movie. Without great acting, this movie would have been nothing. I also felt that this movie was original in the way that the supporting character was kind of like the main character and then the main character fed off the supporting character. Now, I know that doesn't make sense right now, but let me explain. Bale was in the movie a lot in the beginning. You didn't see Mickey Roar that much. But later on, you see a lot of Mark Wahlberg, and you see how Dickie Eklund or Christian Bale changed Mickey Ward or Mark Wahlberg. So that is what's great about this movie, is that characters affect each other so much. They fed off each other so well in this movie. It's just amazing. I haven't seen a movie like this in a while. The rating for this movie is going to be high, and at first I didn't know what I should give it. I battled between 9, 9.5, even a 10 out of 10. So I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10. Now I don't know what is better, Social Network or this, because I believe both of these movies are kind of similar because they both are talents driven. They both have big actors who play the role pretty good. Now Jesse Eisenberg of course is not a big actor, but I believe in the future he might become one of those big actors. I highly recommend this movie to anybody who wants to see a good inspirational boxing movie and a great talent 
run movie. And now, I also want to say is that you should subscribe because the Dark Knight Riders movie update is coming. The only reason it's taking a while is because I want to make sure that it's perfect and I was hoping that maybe Christopher Nolan will release some more stuff, but he didn't release shit that motherfucker. So, you know what? By Monday or Tuesday, I will have the Dark Knight Rises update up. And I know a lot of people already talked about it, but I am the biggest Batman fan, so you should watch that video. You can see by this shirt, the Dark Knight Rises update is coming. This shirt, right here.